this is Dina here with Hewis Bar Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Hi. Today we are in our Still in Geography Unit 1, but we're going to be talking about Nigeria. We're in week 6, and in week 6 we're talking about the nation or country of Nigeria. Let's open up with the word of prayer and we get right into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others that we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Great work. So let's get started with our um, revelation of Nigeria. So we talk about Africa quite often because we're still in geography. And in geography, we talk about different countries on the globe. And um, we talked about North America. We've talked about countries in at least one country in South America, namely Bolivia. If you came to class last week, this week we're going to be talking about a specific country in Africa. Oftentimes you'll hear people say, and I've heard people say this ignorantly, and it's probably okay. They'll say, oh, in the country of Africa. What's wrong with that sentence? Well, Africa is not a country. No, it's made up of 54 countries, <laughs> and it is a continent, okay? It's one of seven continents on the globe, okay? We've talked about um, North America, and namely USA, but North America consists of Canada as well. We've talked about South America, that's the second continent. Africa is a third continent. Europe and Asia is four and five. Australia is six, and Antarctica at the very bottom is seven. Okay, so there are seven continents in the world. Africa is a continent and there are 54 countries. So it's not the country of Africa, it's the continent of Africa. But one of the countries we're going to talk about today is Nigeria because it's so um, densely populated. It is a country in West Africa. So if you look really closely here, it's orange right there, that little place right there. It has neighbors of uh, Niger and Chad. So if you look very closely, you'll see uh, Nigeria, you'll see Niger, Chad, there's also Cameroon, there's uh, Benin. So there's there's Niger sort of sandwiched between uh, many different neighbors. It has a tropical climate with dry seasons in the southwest. So in the southwest down here, you're going to find dry seasons, but in the southeast, you'll find rainy. So you have tropical on the southwest. Uh, dry in the southwest and in the southeast you'll find lots of rain oftentimes it is um some of the natural resources you'll find here are petroleum natural gas i've also heard there's a lot of cocoa there lots of cocoa beans and so chocolate's a major production as well the niger river is a noteworthy landform um if you look here you, you probably can't see it but the niger river runs through the central part of Nigeria, it's a major river in the country. So I have a few questions for you just to make sure you've been paying attention. Question one, where is Nigeria located? Um, here's the globe, in case you can't see it, uh, on the Gulf of, of Guinea. Name some of Nigeria's neighboring countries we talked about four. And my final question is, do you like the climate of Nigeria? Explain. Do you like the climate, southeast being rainy, southwest being dry? How would you feel about that? Do you have a preference? Sort of describe some of that in your sentences. Thank you so much for coming to class, being a part of today's lesson. But until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with hero's body.